Hi, I'm Michelle Phelan, Program Coordinator for the Michigan Chapter of the Alzheimer's Association. I coordinate care and support services throughout Washtenaw County and the surrounding counties and work with volunteers to provide programs to the community. I came to the Alzheimer's Association due to my own personal journey with Alzheimer's. I lost four grandparents to Alzheimer's, but my family never sought help, nor did we know where to go to seek help. So I've made it my mission to provide these programs to the community and make sure everyone is aware of the resources available. The Alzheimer's Association is the leading voluntary health organization focused on Alzheimer's care support and research. We are a nationwide nonprofit, but we have local chapters throughout the country. We strive to fund research, maximize quality care and support, and drive risk reduction and early detection. The association strives to raise awareness through sharing information in the community and providing free education programs. One of the most common questions we receive is what's the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? Dementia in itself is not a disease. Rather, it's what we call an umbrella term, a group of symptoms including memory loss and communication changes, as well as possible changes in personality and behavior. There's always an underlying disease that causes that dementia, and one of those is Alzheimer's. That is the most common cause. About 60 to 80% of dementia cases are caused by Alzheimer's. We also um, try to educate about risk factors. So while age is the greatest risk factor, Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia are not normal parts of aging. We also look at the impact of lifestyle factors, including nutrition and physical activity, as well as genetics in your environment to determine your risk of developing a form of dementia. The association provides free care and support services to all those affected by dementia, whether you're living with a form of dementia or you're a family member or friend. We have free education programs, support groups, and social engagement programs. We also have a 24-7 helpline, which is 800-272-3900. This is a one-stop shop for any dementia-related question any time of the day, and it is nationwide. The association also has funding for respite care. Our respite care assistance program provides $1,000 for caregivers to pay for someone else to help provide care in the home. And this is a great resource to help alleviate some of the stress of caregiver, caregiving. To learn more about all of our programs and resources, visit alz.org gmc or call our helpline. The association is also the largest nonprofit funder of dementia research. Right now, we're investing over $300 million in 920 research projects in 45 countries. Research is the way we'll find a treatment for this disease. If you would like to become involved, you should enroll in Trial Match. Trial Match is our free clinical studies matching service, which allows you to find studies in your area that you may be eligible for. Visit alz.org slash trial match to learn more. We know the importance of making sure that we have dementia-friendly policies in our state and federal governments, which is why we also advocate. We work with our lawmakers to make sure they know the severity of this disease and how they can help. At the local level, we are trying to establish a dementia unit within the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Right now, we're advocating for additional funding for that unit. Federally, we're trying to have more money for both research as well as caregiver and supportive services. Within the past 10 years, we've increased our federal funding to up to $3.5 billion in this annual year. How do we do all these things? How do we fund research and advocacy and programs? That's largely in part to our walk to end Alzheimer's. Our walk is the largest Alzheimer's fundraiser, and there are 600 walks nationally. In this area, the Washington County Annual Walk to End Alzheimer's is Sunday, October 9th at Pioneer High School in Ann Arbor. The ceremony begins at 1030 with registration, followed by the walk at 1130. Anybody can join any age range or any type of ability. We have both one and two mile routes, and it's a great way to short, show support for the cause. You can learn more about the walk, whether you want to volunteer, create a team, or sponsor at act.alz.org. Join me in the fight to end Alzheimer's disease. A few things you can do is share these resources that we talked about today. You can also share your story so people know that they are not alone in this disease. And then you can volunteer. We would love to have you volunteer as an advocate for walk, for research, or for our programs. Learn more about all of our resources at alz.org slash gmc or call 800-272-3900. We'll see you on walk day on October 9th. Thank you.